Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. As most of you would know, my name is Suzanne Price, and on behalf of Harrison Funerals and Wendy's family, I'd like to welcome you here today. I've been given the privilege to officiate at Wendy's service here today, and at the conclusion, you were invited to the lounge for refreshments to share your special memories of the time you spent with Wendy. We're here today united in a common bond of love and respect to celebrate, honour and remember the life that Wendy lived with gratitude and love. Being here today is a support and comfort for each of us, whether members of the family or caring friends. Our shared sorrow and grief becomes a combined strength, enabling us to both give and receive comfort from each other. I believe when we lose someone close to us who touches our lives, the grief and heartache that we feel bears witness to our love and respect for them. The death of someone close to us is a reminder about the fragility of our own lives and the importance of spending time with those we love and care about. It is a reminder that on this journey that we all share, we need to live each precious moment we are given in this lifetime to its fullest. This service will give us a chance to acknowledge the love and respect that we have for Wendy and will continue to be held by us all. Most of all, we get a chance to say goodbye. Thank you for your presence here today. Your love, friendship, care and support have been and will continue to be greatly appreciated. At this time, I would, on behalf of the family, like to thank Wayne for the special care he took of Mum and in supporting Debbie as they enabled Mum to spend as much time in the comfort of her own home these last four months by living with Mum and caring for her. We are gathered here to say our final farewells to Wendy, knowing that as long as we keep her in our thoughts and keep her in our hearts, she will always be with us. The Scottish poet Thomas Campbell stated, to live in the hearts we leave behind is not to die. For those who are able, please be upstanding. As we bid Wendy farewell, we remember Wendy with deep love. We are grateful Wendy was a part of our lives. We will remember the special times, the precious memories we will always have. We will remember her deep love for her family, but most of all, we cherish her ever-present love in our hearts. We now leave with the memory of our beloved Wendy at rest. With enduring love and respect, we bid her farewell. May we leave this place in the tranquility of Wendy's memory, offering our love and support to Wendy's family. We are grateful Wendy was a part of our lives. We remember the radiance of her presence and the touch of her hand, the precious memories we will always have. We have cherished her friendship and her grace, but most of all, we cherish her ever-present love in our hearts. Now, with care and respect, with Wendy's sure and certain hope of the resurrection into eternal life, through the Lord Jesus Christ, we commend Wendy to the care of a heavenly Father, and we commit Wendy's body to be cremated. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. They rest from their labours, and their works follow them. May you find strength and support in your love for one another. May you find peace in your hearts. Please be seated as I now invite Bronwyn from Harrison Funerals to please come forward to conclude Wendy's service here today.